Back off. Push Bobby. <laughs> he doesn't like sports. He doesn't play an instrument. There's nothing to push him into. Yeah, he's gonna be a loser, all right. Now, hold on. Bobby's not a loser. Say that again and I'll pop you in the chops. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Void Theater. As always, I'm your host, Alexander, and it's definitely been a while since my last video. I would make up a lie, but the truth is, I was just playing an unhealthy amount of Yakuza. But ignoring that, we're back with another internet hot take. The show where I look at the internet's weirdest takes on animation and go over them. Last time we took a look at everyone's favorite cephalopod and bikini bottom, but for this one we'll be taking a look at another character who recently has gotten a drastic change of heart on the internet circles. That being the main dad of Rainy Street, Hank Hill. See, like Squidward, Hank has had a rather drastic view change on his character in recent years. Though unlike Squidward, it's been in a far worse direction. Whereas Squidward has become something people can relate to as they get older and deal with the struggles of life, Hank has gone from the dad you probably wished you had, to the dad you never wanted to be. With some even referring to him as one of the worst dads in animation. And obviously, this has to do with how he treats Bobby. A claim that might seem insane on the surface, but also might actually hold some weight the deeper we look into it. So, that's what we're going to be going over in this video. Whether or not Hank really is one of the worst dads in animation, why people have started to think that, is Hank as bad to Bobby as people seem to think he is, and most importantly, what factors might influence how people view the pair? And as always, if you enjoy the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more. But without any further ado, let's raise the curtain, put this show on stage, and see what it has to say. So, before we get too deep into this, there is a thought I want you to keep in mind throughout the video. And it's the idea that you can't judge the past by the standards of the present because they'll never measure up. Just keep that in mind as we go through this. So with that thought in mind, let's start with that middle point. Why do people think that Hank is such a bad dad? And this is a tricky one, but it's also one I kind of get. See where Squidward, you had to kind of bend the perspective of the show to make it work. Here, there's one major draw that people seem to use as an example. And that's obviously the relationship Hank has with his son or more so, the oddities surrounding the relationship. And like I said, I do understand where they're coming from in that sense. The relationship between Hank and Bobby is an odd one, mainly due to the fact that over the course of the show, it seems to kind of drastically change and flip-flop every episode. There are moments where Hank is willing to fight for his son and his hobbies and oddities tooth and nail, and then there are episodes where he honestly doesn't seem like he gives them the time of day outside of rather blunt criticisms never really trying to understand him, but instead forcing him into a mold that he thinks is best for him. Actually, saying that out loud, that really does kind of make him sound like an unsympathetic bastard. And to this takes credit, sometimes that is the case with these two. In fact, there are more than a few times when, truth be told, a lot of Bobby's issues could have been avoided if Hank had just let the boy be himself or not tried to force him into a situation. One of the best examples being what makes Bobby run a rare scenario in which both of them agree to do something that they both want to, and yet it's completely screwed over by Hank. Because truth be told, the entire issue of this episode is Hank's fault. He knew that the mascot was gonna get beaten up and refused to tell Bobby about it, despite knowing that if Bobby did know, he would have stopped then and there. And this is far from the last time that a situation like this has happened between the two. In fact, you can make the argument that this is the crux of their relationship. Hank either encouraging or pushing Bobby into a direction he wants, and then kind of just leaving him out to dry. And for the people that think Hank is a bad dad, there are more than enough examples exactly like this that do kind of justify that thought process. Since, if we're being honest, it is a pretty strong and a pretty repeating theme of the show itself. In fact, it could arguably be the main dynamic of the Hill family, with Hank trying to make Bobby do or act a certain way, Bobby in turn rejecting that idea, and Peggy trying to find some common middle ground or leaning towards whoever she thinks is more right. Now I do want to make this clear. Peggy is fully aware that Bobby is a rather difficult child. But the difference is that Peggy sort of just writes it off as something to either accept or at the very least tolerate, whereas Hank either tries to ignore it completely or change it entirely. And it's that attitude that I think resonates with people when they make this argument. It's not so much that Hank is a terrible father, it's more that he's a closed-minded one. And again, to this takes credit, that is 100% true. It's no surprise that Hank is fairly close-minded on certain things, because that's how he's supposed to be. And in a lot of episodes, he's played up in that manner. So if you were only just watching the show occasionally, it would seem like Hank is at the very least a rather blunt dad who doesn't know his son all that well. And as I'll get into later, there actually is a reason for that. 
But I think that this is the main reason people get this idea of Hank in their head. Because King of the Hill is a show that very frequently switches between wearing its heart on its sleeve and playing its cards close to its chest. And one of the major times it does the latter is in relation to Bobby and Hank. On the surface, Hank does genuinely come across as if everything Bobby does annoys him. He frequently ignores what his son is genuinely into in the hopes of convincing him to focus on something more mundane or what he deems normal. Now, I want to make something very clear before I get onto the next point of this topic, which is that when it comes to this type of parenting, I fully believe that Hank is in the wrong. Part of having a teenager is letting them discover who they are. And while Hank does fail more often than not when it comes to this type of parenting, you can see him genuinely make the attempt. In the episode Reborn to be Wild, we're shown that Hank has kept what's essentially a laundry list of Bobby's many identities as he grew up. It's a great showing of the fact that while Hank on the surface does push him towards certain things, it's in the attempt to provide him with some of the fundamentals that he needs to, well, function. It just goes to show that he goes overboard with the concept. And more importantly, this little detail also shows that while Hank comes off as abrasive, deep down, he does know and pay attention to his son really well. He keeps a personal collection of his son's various toys and identities in one of the places he visits most every day. I bring all that up because for as many times as I see people describe Hank as rather callous, it always seems to ignore moments like this that really show that he does care in his own special way, while also missing one very crucial detail in this relationship, which is to simply say that Bobby Hill is a weird ass kid. Seriously, for all the times I see it, people talk about this relationship, I almost never see people recognize the fact that on a very specific level, Bobby is just plain off-putting at times. Like, far beyond what a typical teenager is supposed to be. And this is coming from a person that was a weird-ass teenager. And that's not just me saying that. Looking at the show, virtually everyone Bobby interacts with at some point genuinely thinks that, well... That boy ain't... Right. And when I say everyone, I do mean everyone. Dale, Boomhauer, Bill, Khan, Connie, even Joseph gives him a side eye, and I'm 90% certain that kid has brain damage. But the point remains that Bobby is almost a magnet for bullies because of how he acts. And Hank, in his own weird way, is just doing damage control. And look, I know some people are going to say that Bobby is just a creative soul that needs to express himself. And on some level, I do agree with that. Counterpoint, however, how many of you will bring a padded ass to school and then go to bully into literally kicking it? That is weird. That is just straight up weird behavior. And frankly, I don't think any parent would be equipped to handle. Now then, before we wrap this up and tackle that central question, there is one other very crucial detail to address. And it's one the show itself barely talks about. And that's how Peggy and more importantly Hank himself was raised. Because while the show does go over their childhood in small bits and pieces, we're never really shown it in full detail. But there is one recurring thing that defines both of their childhoods and shows why they are the way they are with Bobby. In the case of Peggy's parents, we're shown that her mother is, for lack of a better term, a complete bitch. Seriously, go and rewatch the few episodes that involve her mother, and you'll see she's an overly aggressive, verbally abusive, morally destroying human being. And then you have Cotton, who is well, cotton. But I bring them up because when you look at how Hank and Peggy were raised, it's pretty apparent that they try to raise Bobby in the exact opposite direction that they grew up in. For instance, Peggy constantly praises and nurtures Bobby to the point that it might as well be considered smothering, and Hank, unlike Cotton, actually attempts to learn about his son's interests even if he finds them weird or awkward. He just doesn't know how to because truth be told, he was never really taught how. In fact, the few times we see Cotton get involved with Hank, it's almost like an extreme version of what Hank does with Bobby, forcing him to do something he doesn't want to, except in a worse version because it usually involves violence or belittlement. In fact, even when Cotton tried to get along with Hank, it was almost always to tear him down for some weird sadistic pleasure. Whereas Hank, albeit failing more than succeeding, actually involves himself in Bobby's interest simply out of genuine love or curiosity for his son. And on occasion, He's even defended his interest when someone else talks down to him. Like when Khan insinuated that Bobby would be a loser as an adult, and Hank fully admitted that he would kick Khan's ass if he ever said that again. That's a rare moment where Hank instantly goes to violence, and it's all for Bobby's sake. So, looking at all these facts and circumstances, let's finally answer that last question. Is Hank Hill a bad father? 
And I think the answer is no, but like I said, I do understand where this idea comes from. The truth is that Hank is an abrasive father. Throughout the series, he comes off as very strict and to the point. And again, to the credit of this idea, he definitely has moments where he blows up at Bobby and loses his temper. But there are just as many, if not more moments, where you can see that the two have a genuine loving relationship. And more importantly, you can see just how defensive Hank is when it comes to his son. He comes off as a father who may not understand his son, but for being honest, that couldn't be further from the truth. He's fine with Bobby loving comedy and video games, but he wants to make sure his son is prepared for the real world. It's why for every episode like What Makes Bobby Run, we're given one like the Propaniacs. For every time we see Hank confused by Bobby's comedy, we're shown that he does it to protect his son from bullies and at times even seems to encourage it just in a healthier manner. It's a subtle love, but honestly that's kind of King of the Hill's bread and butter. Little moments here and there where you see the characters interact and grow. And even in the first episode we see that sentiment. When Peggy implies that Bobby thinks that Hank doesn't love him, you see him get visibly angry at the thought of that. He's not the best at showing it, but Hank does love Bobby. The issue is that he doesn't know how to express it, both in part because of how he is as a person, and the fact that he was raised by a parent who, if we're being honest, should have gotten a visit from Child Protective Services a long time ago. And this all circles back to the idea I said earlier. You can't judge someone from the past by the standards of today. Because the way I see it, there are two groups of people who look at Hank. There are those that, like I said earlier, see him and grade him as a father in comparison to modern times, and see him more as an old-fashioned, obsolete way of parenting, and the others who recognize that while Hank's parenting wasn't perfect, he was ultimately a product of his time and upbringing, and that ultimately, he had to learn how to be a father in one of the most drastically changing times in America, and moving away from how he was raised. It's why throughout the video I frequently mention that both sides of the spectrum are right, because in a way, Hank is both a good dad and a bad one. He may love his son and try to understand him, but he also frequently ignores who he is as a person and tries to do what Cotton did, albeit in a nicer way. Both are true, and depending on what you focus on, I think greatly depends on how you view him. Because at the end of the day, he's not either, but both. And that's also why this take has become so popular. Unlike other ones, there is a legitimate argument to be made for both sides based on just the character himself and the episodes that feature the relationship of the two. And while I personally think that Hank isn't a bad father, chances are that at least one of you watching this do. And again, there is a valid reason for that. Because at its core, that's King of the Hill. Normal human characters who screw up, learn, and try to grow from that. And to me, no better pair encapsulates that vibe more than Hank and Bobby. They're a real genuine relationship that has its ups and downs, but when you look deeper, you can ultimately tell that it's based on love. And with that, we come to the current call on this video of Hank Hill. I know this took a while to come out, but with that out of the way, I can finally get back to working on some of the other script ideas I have cooking, so please, stay tuned. And as always, with the current closing, I'll leave you with some questions. With your personal experience with the show, what do you think of Hank? Is he a good father, an okay father, or an awful one? Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think, and if you have an animation internet hot take you've seen, post it down below. Who knows, I might discuss it in a later video. But until next time, I've been your host Alexander, and as always, I hope to see you back in my theater.